Well, there is a little over a week left in the special session. Today, the Indiana House expected to decide whether it moves forward with their version of the abortion ban. And the Senate debates in inflation relief. Our Matthew Foltz is at the State House right now, and there were some big changes to the abortion bill, right, Matthew? Yeah, Gina, that's right. Some big changes were made late last night by the House, and one of the biggest changes was when this bill would take effect. And they now say it will take effect on September 15th instead of immediately, and in just three hours, the full House will vote on Senate Bill 1 on whether or not it will pass and put restrictions on abortions here in Indiana. Now, Yesterday, the House passed an amendment to the bill that changed, these, changed the mother's life exception to the abortion ban. It gives doctors some restrictions on what they can consider threatening to the mother's life. They defeated an amendment to remove the rape and incest exceptions to the ban, and that vote had the support of most Republicans. However, Democrats voted with the rest of the caucus to defeat it. Now, they also changed the cutoff for rape and incest abortions to 10 weeks, regardless of the pregnant person's ages. Now, there were enough changes to the bill that if the bill passes the House, it will then go to the Senate this afternoon, and the House is expected to make that vote or to uh, gather together at 9 a.m. this morning.